All right, today is August 20th, 2015, and we're looking at the uh, water vapor loop, the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And uh, today, the skies in Los Angeles are uh, clear for the most part, hazy sun, about 82 degrees, and the uh, relative humidity is around 57%. All right, and the barometric pressure has dropped to about 29.98 which is down from around 30 inches the last couple of days. And uh, today we see that this uh, blockade is still in place. There's a transmitter here applying some uh, hot air. And that is blocking this low pressure system that's moving down out of the uh, Bering Sea area. And uh, we can see the uh, this is a very effective blockade. It's keeping all that moisture out from joining with this uh, spinning uh, system right here. This is all disorganized. This has been hit with a transmitter the last few days. And uh, it's uh, just a lot of water vapor with not much organization. Uh, Hawaii down here is, is in the clear pretty much. We have a new disturbance, or rather this is a, a tropical depression, 3C, and it's a forecast to go to a hurricane possibly in a couple of days. I think it's an 80% chance. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, meantime, uh, there is another storm right here that's being blown apart uh, coming out of Mexico over the uh, Pacific. And that is uh, being blown away. We can see a shock wave shooting out the back side of that. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. We have a uh, another disturbance right here that has 0% uh, chance of hurricane formation in two days. Uh, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that as well. Uh, that's pretty much it for today. Um, there's not a whole lot else to report. We can take a look at some of the other maps. This is the uh, rainbow loop showing the intensity of the rain there. Those disturbances down uh, below Mex or below Hawaii rather are uh, fairly large and uh, keep an eye on those. Okay, next we got the uh, east Pacific water vapor loop. Uh, this is that uh, thunderstorm system moving off of uh, Mexico out into the Pacific, and once again they blow that apart. You can see the shock waves on the back side, and uh, right here, uh, out on the front side of that. Now, we can't really get a good close up of what's happening here because it's the cutoff point for the uh, southwest map is right around here, so we won't see much of this up close, but we do see the shock wave. Uh, coming out the back side of that, so they're clearly uh, people running those transmitters are clearly uh, destroying that storm. All right, uh, we can also see that there's a general uh, pattern, uh, a trend here of this uh, water vapor here uh, moving back up towards California. There still is a slight clockwise uh, rotation right here. We can see that going on, and so by doing this, that minimizes any any chance of excess water vapor, uh, any uh, any rain uh, threat for California. Our drought is manufactured and they, they're, the people running these transmitters are making sure that nothing gets back up into California. All right. Okay, we just saw that. All right, let's go take a look here. That's the visible light mode. And here is the southwest. We can see some of that uh, right here, down here, that one thunderstorm we were just talking about. There's a blast pattern right there. We can see that. It's a pretty nice little blast pattern. Okay, so uh, let's go on and look at the uh, rainbow version of that map. National Hurricane Center, we've got a disturbance uh, south of Baja that we were looking at that a minute ago. Out on the uh, Central Pacific, we have uh, 3C, about 700 miles southeast of Hilo. And uh, they're forecasting that will become a hurricane uh, in a few days. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, let's go back. Uh, this is the Northwest Atlantic map. This is a map of the east 
eastern side of the country we can see a lot of thunderstorms out here uh, over Texas and uh, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Missouri, Alabama. Uh, so, uh, and look at this, this large uh, spinning low here. That's going to uh, deliver some rain up through the east coast. Okay, so we'll uh, keep an eye on that. And there's a large low spinning off out here in the Atlantic. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, keep an eye on the, uh, mainly we'll keep an eye on California and the west coast. That's the mission here, is to monitor the drought and the people running the transmitters that are maintaining this drought and keeping the rain out uh, by uh, uh, spraying chemical aerosols in our skies, uh, which are preventing rain and allowing the uh, the land to heat up. We have a, 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 a media in, in the United States that's uh, selling a, a global warming and climate change package to uh, uh, implement a global uh, you know, climate tax, car uh, carbon taxes, cap and trade taxes, all based on lies. The fact that the fact is, is that uh, by preventing rain, you, you know, the rain cools the land uh, naturally, cools the air and cools the land. When rain is prevented uh, continually, uh, we would expect everything to, to rise in temperature, including the oceans and, and everything else. And that's, that's what's happening. That's the result of man-made climate manipulation. Uh, it is climate change, but it's deliberate and it's, uh, uh, it's covert. And uh, that's what's happening. So uh, we'll go ahead and do another one of these later. All right.